Hi everyone, this is the new Gallup extension of the Botanic Gardens and yeah, it's a rainy day. It was a day of battle between the sun and the clouds, the heavy thunderstorm. So it was going on for the last two hours, this bright and sunny and then cloudy. And by the time I got here, guess what? It's raining, right? So sometimes things like that do happen in tropical Singapore where it rains nearly three quarters of the year whether it's just drizzles or a heavy thunderstorm but this is what everyone's been painting I'm gonna wait for the rain to stop but I'm gonna seek shelter there I'm all wet if you realize yeah uh, it just started to pour down on the streets but yeah let's let's find a nice spot to settle in. Look at that. So since it's still raining, we're hanging out here in the Forest Discovery Arboretum. It's a museum for a collection of tree species. Now let's go find the entrance on this really wet Monday. Look at that over there. Uh, so it looks like the only way is via this skyway up to the entrance. So it's drizzling, it's, it's not as bad as the downpour earlier on. Here we are at the entrance. I hope it's open. Those of us who love information, I'm just going to read this through even though I have no idea what it means. Compared with other black and white bungalows, Apara lacks verandas but has the distinctive half-timbered elevations of the mock Tudor style. It is unusual in having an asymmetrical L-shaped plan with rooms extending in two wings from the main entrance. This was probably done to take advantage of the view facing the north and northeast. The house has a gothic style carriage porch as well as Moorish influences in the detailing of the staircase leading up from the porch and in the design of the trifoil arches in the basement. Akbara was built in 1898 for John Birkinshaw, a British lawyer. It was later bought by the Straits Trading Company and served as the residence for Charles MacArthur, then chairman of the Straits Trading Company. The property was named after a river in Sudan where the British won an important battle in the year the house was completed. How about that folks? Wasn't it exciting? This is what I love about Singapore. It wasn't as big 
before bird conservation and really digging up the history of other places. We've seen old Singapore of the very important places but not of the outskirts of Singapore. So that was a treat for me. This is Alvin Mark. If you love to see what you see here on this channel, remember to do what you have to so that the AI would recognize like-minded people and send it off to them too. Thank you so much for that in advance. Until the next episode, guys and gals, you know what? Since the rain has stopped, let's make a painting right now. All I have to do is just figure out if I want to paint this or the next door neighbor over there. So let's go scout out for the possible locations. I'm really thinking that because I really love the, the, the bottom part because of the Moorish influence that's calling out to me but let me check this place out first my name is not Ruben <laughs> I ordered a Ruben It's really good. I recommend the picnic set where you can actually buy a, a picnic box and they'll throw in a picnic mat where you can make it and use it anywhere in this entire botanic garden. And of course, you can keep the mats too. Mm -mm. Hey everyone, where I'm gonna paint the Adbara house over there. It looks good. Uh, the sun is out. But then again, we never know. Today is another one of those iffy days. I'm here at the corner of the art gallery, which is cool. Cool in two cents. Um, it is an art gallery. I'm making art here. And also, uh, because of this corridor here and there, I'm getting this really refreshing breeze while I make my painting. I think I've got this. So once again, thanks for joining me. Enjoy this paint out.
featured by former artists or uh, artists from the past but also artists of the here and now are also featured here in this space. How awesome is that? Pattern. They call this a feather pattern leaf or pinnate and veins branch out from both, both sides of the main vein. Uh, I had to use one of these uh, sheets from my sketchbook because my sketchbook itself, uh, the paper is too thick uh, to be able to catch the, the grooves to be able to make this. But way to go! There's another piece of art for today. Hey everyone, we're done. Let's do the outro again. This is Elvin Mark. Ciao, ciao.